Okay, let's look at a tricky question for from from the week three quiz or possibly from the week three quiz. And when I say possibly, I don't know which questions you will get. They're randomly uh, generated. But here is one that a lot of students will miss if they have not uh, watched this video or watched my lectures. And it seems like a real simple question. It says, the following data is from a population. 9, negative 3, 5, negative 5, 7, 6. Find the range, population variance, and population standard deviation. Minitab gives you the sample variance and the sample standard deviation, but it will not give you the population variance and the population standard deviation. I've talked to the folks. They're working on inputting that or getting that as part of, uh, of the software. And, and by the way, while I'm saying this, the folks at Minitab at Penn State are wonderful. Uh, they're not at Penn State, but that's where their headquarters is, is in that state college area of Pennsylvania. Great folks, very uh, responsive when you call them and ask, hey, how do I do this or how do I do that? So if you get a question that is related to the population variance and the population standard deviation, I'm going to tell you what you should do. Okay, don't go to Minitab. Go to Excel. All right, hang on just a second. Let me pull up Excel. You don't have to label it, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna label it data here. Let's put those numbers in. It was nine, negative three, five, negative five, seven, and six. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six data points. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so let me see if I can make this a little larger, make all of this bigger. Let me take this up to about 18. All right, that's good. All right, first of all, I'm going to write here range, population, variance, population. You don't have to do this. I'm just labeling what I'm going to show you. Population standard deviation. The range is real simple. Let me come out here and say what it is. The range is just the maximum. Maximum minus the minimum. So what I do is I say equals the max. Open parentheses of all these numbers. Close it out and then say minus the min of all these numbers. Close it out with another parenthesis. Boom. 14. Let's see if we can figure out. The biggest one's 9. The smallest one's negative 5. 9 minus a negative 5. Minus a negative is plus. So 9 plus 5 is 14. So I know that's correct. Now, the population variance. Let me show you how easy this is to get in an Excel. I'm going to type equals VAR. Now, it's according to what version of Excel you have, you either want to click on VAR.P for population or VARP. I've got the most, v most recent version. Both of these work. What it is is they kind of change the nomenclature. You want to go with the one with a P at the end of it, VAR.P or VARP. I'm going to go there, double click, cover the numbers, close the parentheses out. Bazinga, the variance, population variance is 27.5. Let's see if it will go any farther out. If, if I wanted more uh, accuracy, I can just stretch my cell out. Notice how I can do that here. Oh, it's just 20. Nah, pull it out. I can get as much accuracy as I want. I can also right click and say format cells, number. I want it to three decimal places. Say OK. Boom, 27.472. Now let's get the population standard deviation. I'm going to say equals STDEV. 
the one that ends in .p, or if you've got a, a, a older version, stdevp. So I'm going to double click on stdev.p, cover my numbers, close it out with a right parentheses, 5.24. All right, I'm going to round that to three decimal places. Right click, format cells, number, let's go to three decimal places, say OK, boom. Now, if you want to check that, you don't have to check it because I'm telling you they're right. I'm going to come over here and make sure I'm going to say equals this number. So I'm going to click on it, squared. The standard deviation squared is equal to the population variance. Notice, I nailed it. So anyway, if you get a question like that asking you for the population variance or the population standard deviation, open Excel up and rock this question.